Hi, it's David, and welcome to another training video for the Leader Coach Catalyst. You are transforming your world tangibly for the better, and these videos will help you have more success. I feel like I should post a big warning label on this particular video, not because it's dangerous, but because as I share with you what the big idea is, that you'll be tempted to believe you already know it and jump. Seriously, this is what you want me to spend time on watching a video of? I already know this stuff. Who doesn't know this stuff? Well, I, I'm guessing that you do understand it conceptually, but my goal is to help you get it more deeply because in looking back on the 25 years I've, I've done this work and help people succeed, I believe that actually this is one of the core differentiators that's helped them not only become much better, better versions of themselves, but that has also helped them differentiate themselves from their peers and their competitors so that they've been the ones who got the better opportunities to step up and make that impact as a leader coach catalyst the way they've always dreamed of. And I want that for you. And there will be a lot of ideas in your head that tell you you already know this. In fact, culturally, the message sort of is there's no difference between the two things I'm going to share with you. They are one and the same. And that's the biggest reason why some people don't, that's one big reason at least, why many people don't achieve at their full level and aren't as satisfied. So what's this big idea that I keep talking about? Well, it's actually the difference between two things. And... Um, they seem, for many people, like they're the same thing. One is conceptual understanding, and the other is embodied knowledge. It's possible that even you look at, as you look at this right now, you're thinking, so isn't that the same thing? Let me first just define the two. So conceptual understanding is when you understand something because you read it in a book, you Googled it and found information there, or perhaps somebody explained it to you and you got it. You, you could grok it um, intellectually in your mind and um, you, you, you liked that or it felt, felt like, okay, that's knowledge, I've got it. You could even probably understand it well enough that you could explain it to somebody else so that they could also have conceptual understanding of it. But what's embodied knowledge? Embodied knowledge is when you are able to actually take this conceptual understanding and somehow, and there are ways to do it, which I'll explain in subsequent videos, but to get really good at that, but that you actually are able to take that, that conceptual understanding and apply it in the real world so that you're able to have an impact, so that the, the tangible results, this is about application and being tangible above this line, that you can actually create tangible results that other people can see and appreciate. That you can also do that, create those results through your actions with that embodied knowledge consistently, predictably, and in a way that people can rely on. And most importantly, well, another thing is that a lot of times by people watching you, they'll be able to learn it, at least conceptually at first, and then maybe up there on uh, further up the scale. But But most important about this embodied uh, knowledge is that w this is what people get paid the most for, or whether they're rewarded the most for, is that under extreme stress, when the wheels are, are falling off the car and everything is going wrong and nobody knows, you still can apply it so that you can move the dial on results. And that is the difference between embodied knowledge and conceptual understanding. But our culture has often sent us signals that this is actually primo. This is all we need and maybe even as good as this. Think about grade school. It's our education system. Grade school, um, middle school, high school, college, grad school, whatever you attended, many times the way you got rewarded was that you were um, asked questions on a test to prove that you had conceptual understanding. And if you answered to prove that, you got rewarded for it. But in our world as adults, in the real world, conceptual understanding is not, not valueless, but it's often not what people, what gives, it's, what, it's not what people are paying for. It's not where, who, if this is what you're able to do, this, these aren't the people who get rewarded for it. And it's been helping my clients not only understand the difference, which conceptually anybody can under this, understand the difference, but embody how to, how to move up here with the things that were critical to them that actually help them differentiate themselves. 
and you already have had some successes in this. You might have not thought of it this way, but let's see how well we can help you accelerate this in the areas that you really need embodied knowledge because that's what's going to help you achieve more of that impact as a leader coach catalyst that you're striving for. Now, the, the other things that happen in our culture is, you know, we're, we're told that information is the same as knowledge. We can Google it. Oh, I know that. Um, or, you know, look it up in Medium or TikTok or whatever, and now I know. Well, I call that understanding. You have to be able to actually apply it and do something with it for it to earn the mark of knowledge. And I think that's a really helpful distinction for a lot of people. So the other thing to understand is uh, sometimes we get confused. People can get confused. This may have happened to you where somebody is, you know, they have conceptual knowledge at this level, but then they have a peak experience where the, the conditions are aligned in the perfect way. They're having a good day, a good night, whatever it is. You see this sometimes in sports where somebody you don't expect to achieve great things has one great game and uh, they, they jump up. And it's really easy then to tell yourself, ah, I've arrived. I know everything there is to know. Look at what I did. Let's not confuse that either with embodied knowledge. What we're going for is something that, that is reliable, that you can deliver with on a consistent basis. Um, so it's also, like I said, being up here is at least professionally what people will pay for. And even in your personal life, you know, whether it's as a spouse, as a parent, as a friend, you can have con conceptual understanding of how to be a parent. You read all sorts of parenting books. You can have conceptual understanding about how to great, be about a great partner or spouse or, or friend. Ask other people whether you're actually embodying that knowledge. And um, you might find that there's a big difference. It's, it's interesting, very early on, for some reason, I had a lot of young attorneys who would come to me for, um, for coaching. And um, one of the things that often happened to them is they went through law school and they loved it and they achieved great things in that conceptual world. And then they became lawyers and they were lost. In fact, they hated it because the world of conceptual understanding where they had been rewarded and had so much fun was very different from practicing law. And there are lots of examples that I'm sure you can think of of the same thing happening. So I would encourage you in this next week, before I share the next, next video, I encourage you the next week to just start to look around you um, to see how this shows up in your world. Because even though it seems like an obvious idea, it's a really big idea when you are able to apply it in your world. And so I'm gonna ask you some questions just to help you do that. And by the way, if you just can't wait, I've already shot another video that talks about how do I accelerate my ability to move from here to here. I'm gonna suggest your time will be better spent thinking about these three questions, and then next week when that, that video is officially released, enjoy it um, at, built on what you can work on this week. This week, here's what I'm gonna ask you to look at. Three questions. The first one is about yourself, um, which is where do you have um, this conceptual understanding, this intellectual understanding, um, when you actually need embodied knowledge? Where in your life, in your work, have you confused these and you're trying to get by with this? And maybe that's why the opportunities aren't coming to you. Um, and where is it that it's just fine to live at the level of conceptual understanding? Let's be honest with ourselves. We can't develop embodied learning in every area. So what is it that you need to de develop or grow in and, um, you know, and this, you can keep going up on this. The very peak of this is what I would call mastery. That's a word that, that um, George Leonard in his book, Mastery, um, made popular. So you can always go up further on this. But what are the few areas that you need this on and what are the ones that are fine? Also understand that as you take on new roles, as you get bigger opportunities, what was sufficient embodied knowledge before may no longer be sufficient. And so there may be new things that you can learn. The second question is looking at other people. It has to do with looking at other people. And so um, look at around and ask yourself what other people are not being as successful as they could be, as they want to be, as people would hope they could be, or maybe as you hope they could be, because they have conceptual understanding and they think they've got it. And what they really need is they need to build into embodied knowledge. Or they're at the very low end of embodied knowledge, and that's great. It's you know, sort of like you know, uh, table stakes. It gets them in the door but it doesn't allow them to deliver what you or others need, or even maybe what they want for themselves. So it's great to look at other people, not in a judgmental way, just to help educate yourself, because what I'm trying to help you do is further refine this lens of something that seemed obvious to you. Conceptually, you, you, know, you understand this, 
Um, but so that you can actually start to embody it through that. I see it in others and I know, I now know the difference and that can help me explain things. The third question, what narrow areas do you want to move further up towards embodied knowledge? As I said before, we can't go deep in everything. We can't develop embodied knowledge in everything. So what are the areas for you to be successful? Maybe you've already achieved them. Maybe you've moved into a new territory and it's something new. But what are the things that you need to develop right now at an embodied knowledge level? And um, what can you do with that? How can you start to move forward towards that? And don't worry so much even about how to start moving forward. I'll help you build on that in the next video and in all the videos behind this. But for now, those are the three questions that I think will be really valuable. So we have now had a conceptual conversation about this. As you move forward and start to observe, that's the first step, one of the easy first steps in going towards embodied knowledge. And in future videos, we'll keep building on it. So thanks for hanging in with me. Um, for your sake, I hope that um, you do see some of the ideas that will help you differentiate yourself, produce more opportunities for you to have the impact. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.